Alright, so Nikola Motors recently IPO'd under the merger with VTIQ. Uh, it was an effective merger that took place with their shareholders uh, last Thursday, where they finalized their deal with VTIQ to IPO under NKLA with the effective merger with VTIQ. This stock was up over 125% today, 103% in the regular market hours, and 21.95% in the aftermarket hours. Looking at the weekly chart right here, we can see the stock is up 137%. But as you can see, guys, when it IPO'd, it actually it didn't move, guys. It didn't move that much. And you know, a lot of investors were kind of skeptic skeptical behind the stock due to the reason that they don't have any real products rolled out yet. But they also have a lot of product ideas, a lot of products listed on their website, the use of hydrogen fuel, and have many different alternatives to gasoline-powered vehicles. So the company has a lot of potential in the future, but I want to take a look at this article right here. So basically what happened today is their CEO, Trevor Milton, he tweeted out saying that they were they're announcing that their reservations for their Badger truck, which is their electric, or uh, their new electric pickup truck, will be available in the late June. So those of you guys who want this new car, or they're offering it out to the public, they will be able to make reservations in late June to buy this car. And another thing I want to take a look at, guys, they they basically focus on the Class Eight heavy trucks, which are basically those big eighteen wheeler. Uh, trucks that you guys see all the time on the roads and they weren't really focusing on the Badger or their alternative modes of transportation their jet skis their ATVs these these pickup trucks as you can see here But you know looking at this car all together. It has a 600 mile range You know, it'll be able to operate in a blended mode drawing power from both the fuel and the battery and it could also be used as a normal day-to-day -day driver so Looking at this stock right here, guys, we got to take a look down here. So I want to take a look at this down here. So their average volume is 319,000 and their volume today was 50 million, you know, 50 million shares. That is huge. You know, you got to take a look at these numbers down here. So another thing I want to look at is a $2.17 billion market cap already, guys. This stock IPO literally less than a week ago and it's already got a $2.17 billion market cap you look at their employees they only got four employees listed on here you know they're based out of phoenix arizona and they were founded in 2015 so this is relatively new guys this is a relatively new company and this company has billions in pre-orders as they say so this stock has a lot of potential guys i just wanted to point this out to you guys so you guys could take a look at this tomorrow um you know yesterday uh or today i'm filming this tonight for you guys so Take a look at this tomorrow, see how it reacts. You know, their options chain right here, their options are pretty much broken. And you know, that they don't have any listed up here. So I'm curious to see how the options market will open tomorrow as well. Uh, for those of you guys who got into these options, you guys made a killing today. 12,000% with the previous close of $18 or 18 cents. Now you could have sold that. You would have risked eighteen dollars to make two, over two grand, guys. Those option players, you guys would have made a lot today. So make sure you guys check out this stock. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, and comment below.